You know, I don't think I don't think people are concerned who I voted for 17 years ago. And and what's more, when I was asked the question, I told the truth. That's important for voters across the Commonwealth of Virginia. You know, in 2009, uh, Mr. Perriella uh, made a statement that he was really a libertarian at heart, and the only reason that he switched to being a Democrat was so that he could run for Congress. Um, he, he also, I've got it, I'll show it to you after the, uh, after the debate. Uh, he also bragged while he was on Fox News, of other things, of all things, uh, that he was proud to have voted w with the Republicans over 60 percent of the time. So people that live in glass houses shouldn't be throwing stones because sometimes the glass, when it breaks, can get very sharp. Now, the Affordable Care Act. Um, I will tell you, as a doctor, there are good things about the Affordable Care Act. No more pre-existing conditions, uh, keeping our children on our policy until they're 26 years old, the emphasis that's placed on access to women's reproductive health care, the emphasis on mental health care, the emphasis on preventive care, there are good things. So rather than say, let's repeal and replace, let's have a plan on the table. Let's bring people together and say, what's in the best interest of the Commonwealth of Virginia and this country? So to just say repeal and replace is not the answer. We need to make sure that all Virginians have access to affordable and quality health care. That's why there's no better time than right now for a doctor to be at, at the table and make sure that that happens. Um, Dr. Northam, that's just a pretty sad attack. In the ninth grade, I was already working on Doug Wilder's election as the first African-American governor here in Virginia. I have spent 20 years of my life fighting for progressive causes. I've been running nonprofit organizations. I spent three years building organizations to push back against the George Bush agenda that you were supporting at the time. Their attacks on the poor, their attacks on seniors, uh, their busting of the budget. I was devoting my life to that 20 hours a day. So I think you're going to need to get a little better defense than that coming forward forward. But let's talk about health care. This is not a game. 